Hello all. I just wanted to do a brief little video on neurological disorders. Uh, a close friend of mine is uh, struggling with a neurological disorder and it seems to me that the evidence suggests that this is related to animal product consumption. So there's two excellent articles that I found that are related to this. Uh, many of you who are familiar with Dr. McDougall will know that Dr. Swank was uh, very um, important in Dr. McDougall's understanding of problems associated with diet. Uh, Dr. Swank had developed a diet to use as a treatment for MS and had high levels of success by uh, getting MS patient, patients to eliminate uh, you know, high, highly saturated fat by reducing animal product intake. And uh, they saw great results by doing that. Um, there's also the um, the other uh, uh, tremor. There's essential tremor. There's like Parkinson's and essential tremor are other neurological diseases. You could say there's an umbrella of neurological diseases. Of course, within the modern medical profession, there's this tremendous diversification. So people specialize and they think that all these things are totally separate and unrelated, and they tend to treat them that way. But uh, it seems, the, the, at least the evidence suggests, that if you look at uh, maps of uh, percentages of occurrence of this disease around the globe, of course, as usual, the, the, um, the occurrence of the disease is much greater. There's a much higher percentage of it in industrialized modern societies where they're eating diets that are heavily made up of animal products. So, in other words, you know, you compare the United States and Europe to more primitive cultures like, say, in Africa or uh, South America, and the incidence of neurological disorders decreases dramatically when animal products in the diet decrease. And then, of course, uh, this fact is borne out when doctors like Dr. McDougall apply this principle in practice, and he has his patients change their diet, and then they overcome or reduce or at least halt the progression of symptoms for neurological disorders, and then, of course, all the other ones that we know about, i.e. losing weight, heart disease, diabetes, the list goes on and on. So uh, just wanted to throw that out there. Um, there's two articles I found in reference to this. One is an interview that Dr. McDougall did with Dr. Swank, and they go into some of the underlying uh, principles behind the efficacy of changing diet for MS. And then uh, Dr. McDougall has another article on Parkinson's and also neurological tremors. So there's a whole long list of uh, neurological disorders that kind of that have similar symptoms, but you could say they're slightly different in, in cause or uh, manifestation. So anyway, uh, I'm going to list these two articles, links to these two articles here, and I hope you enjoy them. And uh, just a little more fuel on the fire to, uh, to, to show that uh, an animal-free diet is the healthiest way to go. Thanks for watching. Take care.